Hi, my name is Matt McDowell, and I am going to, what am I gonna do? Oh, welcome, okay. The intros are the hardest, the intros are the hardest. Hi, my name is Matt McDowell, and welcome to my exploration of my working life called 52 at 52, I'll explain what that means a little bit later. I was at this party, and I'm talking, and I'm telling some story, and it's kind of some sort of crazy story. And the woman, this woman looks at me, and she says, um, how many jobs have you had? And I go, oh, a lot. And then I went home that night, and I started counting up how many different jobs I've had. Now, the average person on the planet has 10 jobs in their lifetime. As I counted them up, I have, I've had 52 jobs, which makes me 200 years old. I'm like the elder statesman of the randomly employed. So what I wanted to do is I'm turning 52 this year. I've had 52 jobs and there's 52 weeks in a year. So I'm going to be telling stories once a week about the various jobs I've had. Now, I want to, I want to define the criteria of a job. A job is anything. So I'm not talking about a career. I'm talking about a job. But it's anything that I got paid for, that I had to put time in and I got paid for. This is an active like, oh, I sold my house and I made some money or, you know, investments, none of that kind of stuff. It's I put the time in and I got some money. Now, I might not have made money, but that's not the point. It's I got some money. So now, part of the reason I wanted to do this project, one, because I was talking to that woman and she wanted to know how many jobs I had, but the other one was this book right here called Gig, Gig by, I don't know who it's by. Oh, it's edited by some people here. It's got my name. It's got my name in it. That's how much I like the book because I wrote my name in it. Um, it's called Gig, and it's called uh, Americans Talk About Their Jobs at the Turn of the, uh, of the Millennium. Studs Terkel wrote a book, similar book, called Working. And so it's kind of riff on that, so, but it's just new, newer jobs and stuff like that. And both, I love this book. I thought it was great. I haven't read the Studs Terkel book, uh, but I'm going to someday. I was going to do it before this project, but maybe I'll do it. As I'm writing, uh, you know, doing this project, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to read that book. I might read that book. I may or may not read that book. But anyway, I have read this one. In this, I found this book fascinating because it's talking to UPS drivers and they tell you what's going on with their life and it's talking to all these different people and telling you what's, what's going on with them. And I just thought it was great. Swimming to Cambodia by Spalding Gray, his like one man show. I just loved that. And I thought it was great. One person talking, holds your attention for two hours. And basically, he's just talking about a job he had. Obviously, this won't be as good as that, but I liked that idea. So those are things that were kind of percolating in the back of my mind. But what really got me interested in this project, other than this woman saying, how many jobs have you had, was Ira Jensen. Now, Ira Jensen, he was an old guy. He, uh, I was a teenager working at one of my jobs, and he was the owner's son. Take it back. He was the owner's father, right? He was the owner's father, and he was an old retired guy. He'd come in and kind of tell us what to do. His name was Ira, but for some reason, everyone called him Ikes. I never could figure that out. His name's Ira. Everyone called him Ikes. And he was so close to his wife, whose name was Ellen, they would just call him Ikes and Ellen, but his name's Ira. A little sidelight story there. May cut that out. I'm not sure. Ira Jensen, he and I, we did not get along. He was a grumpy old kind of bitter man, and he probably thought I was a smart-ass teenager with no respect for authority, and I think we were both right. I wasn't his favorite, he wasn't my favorite. Cut to almost 20 years later, I'm at his grandson's house on Lake Geneva, and I find his personal history there. So, and I start, I start reading through this thing, and it's fascinating, because here's this guy that I didn't have a lot of respect for. I didn't have, not respect, I just didn't really think about him, I just didn't really like him. But then as I read through his story, and I find out all the different jobs. He mostly, mostly wrote about two things, the jobs he had and the food that he ate. Quite exhaustively about, we had this kind of apple pie. As I read through these stories, I got to find out stories about my own grandfather because they were intertwined and our families were intertwined. I really grew to respect and like Ira Ikes. You know, I'd like to, I'd, I'd like to kind of leave something like that for my grandkids or my kids or future generations or just to entertain people today. I'll take a sip of water. With that in mind, I've embarked on this journey. 52 jobs. I'm 52 years old, 52 weeks. Now, when I was telling someone about this, this uh, I go, I've had 52 jobs in my life. I was going to do it because I just added them up, which 
you know what? It takes a while. It takes a while to add up 52 jobs. I'm exhausted just thinking about it. I told her, I, did, I told her, uh, I told her, I go, yeah, I'm doing this project. I'm going to do this project in the fall. And it's called 52 at 52. You know, I explained the whole thing to her. And she goes, huh, you've had 52 jobs. And she goes, uh, was that on purpose? And that's a good question. And maybe that's a question that I'll find an answer to over the course of these 52 weeks. Was that on purpose? What does it mean to be randomly employed? Work is something that defines us. Like if you ask someone, you say, oh, what do you do? What do they respond? They say, I am a lawyer. I am a brick mason. I am, you know, I'm a mechanic. They don't say, I do work on cars, which would be kind of weird English. We say, what do you do? And then they res we respond with, I am. So it's really much a part of us. So if, if you've got 52 jobs in your life, and you respond with I am and you list the 52 things that you've done, you're gonna come off like a lunatic, which I would probably will come off like a lunatic in this, which is a, 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 a risk I'm willing to take for you. And we define other people by their jobs and, our, and their work. Like for example, if you, if you see somebody and they got a card and they've got like, you know, I'm a book binder and a uh, you know, magazine editor and I'm also uh, you know, a fly fishing touring guide and I'm good at, uh, I'm a cobbler. You're gonna like, well, this guy's all over the place. And I'm one of those guys, I get it. So I don't know what, uh, I don't know if I have any answers uh, to this, uh, this exploration of, of being randomly employed, but um, hopefully it will be entertaining for you and for me. So with that in mind, sit back um, and enjoy listening to these stories about the different jobs that I've had in my life I'll try to make them interesting and fun. And uh, if you would like, I would like I want, I'm a storyteller and I want as many people as possible to hear my stories. So if you would subscribe in some place, I'll probably up a thing around some place. It'll probably be random. Uh, subscribe to the channel and pass along to your friends and like it on Facebook, Twitter, you know, smoke signals, semaphores always works good. Uh, and also just talk to your friends about it if you like it. If you don't like it, I guess you could talk to them about it too. You talk to your therapist if you don't like it. Or you can talk to me in the comment section. Anyway, as an added bonus for me, I'll have these stories down on, you know, in you on YouTube, and I'll be able to say I'm at a, I'm at a party, if I'm at a party say, and I'll just have a I'll carry a stack of, of iPads around and somebody will be saying something. I go, oh, that reminds me of this story. And I'll just hit play and then hand it to them and walk off and they'll be a, or better yet, I won't, have, I won't be invited to any more parties because people will have heard all my stories and they're like, you know what, we've heard your stories. Let's not invite them. And I can just hole up and start binge watching, you know, media content uh, like this. So come with me and welcome. This should be fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just did it. Whew. What next? That didn't take very long.